Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm in an ice bath. I've been getting them for the last nine days. This video, I'm just going to talk about the benefits, what I've noticed from doing it, and give you a little bit of an insight into um, yeah, in, into ice baths. Um, they're very cold. I've got a, an ice bath. This is from Lumi, this one. Other ice baths are available. Current water temperature is around 14 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I didn't even look. In Fahrenheit, that is 60 degrees. Apparently, 11 and a half minutes of cold water therapy every week is supposed to be really good. Uh, two and a half times your dopamine helps with brown fat and energy and recovery and all that. Like I say, I hate being cold. I've spent my life being cold, or have spent my life being cold playing rugby. I'm willing to give it a go. So this is Monday, and I'm going to do this over the, the the following days, weeks, months to see how we go and see if there's a no noticeable improvement. So here we go. Oh God. Oh God. Joel, I can't believe you just sat there like that. It's horrible. I'm lovely and warm. Got my coffee. I don't think you have me to be fucking that. What about your shoulders? I can't get any load. I'm alright now. Really? No, it's settled in. I mean, my feet are a bit cold. I have actually got some cold socks to wear. That. Okay. Um, yeah, how are your feet and ankles? Yeah, my feet are starting to get sore, so I've okay. actually got some socks like poly polyether plurifilaline socks. I forget, are you talking to me or the camera? Both. <laughs> Joel sat there. That's coming up to two minutes. Wow. That's a good effort. Yeah, that is good. It's like when we jump in the sea, it's like it's awful for a few, like a minute or two, and then you get used to it, don't you? Mm, I wouldn't say used to it, it's the, one, it's the phrase I would use. It becomes less uncomfortable. Yeah. Two and a half minutes will do. Day one. So I'm out of them, showered, I'm sorted. I actually felt really good for doing that. It was a bit grim at first, and my feet, I don't know if I've got really poor circulation, but it starts to hurt my feet. So I have got these socks. I'll show you them uh, when I do the next one, but yeah, felt really good. I'm feeling good for being back off holiday and energized to get on with stuff, so I can't tell you how much better I'm feeling, but I do feel good. Um, and I felt good for getting out of it and doing it and challenging myself to do something when I'm comfortable as well. So see how we go. Much better with the socks on. <sighs> Try to control the breathing. It's the initial getting in once you've done that. It's alright. <sighs> That's nearly a minute. About 12 degrees Celsius. <sighs> which is 55 degrees. Fahrenheit, when you move, that's when you feel it, if you're nice, still. Day two, done, yes, feel good actually now I'm out, it's not, I mean it's not warm, um, it's about 7.30, 7.40, I feel good, good work. Day three, I'm just about to jump in. Now, as I might have mentioned yesterday, I can't remember if I did or not. See that? That's a bag of water that I've put on the door. It keeps bugs out of your house. There you go. Apparently they think it's a wasp's nest. I've got these booties. Well, they're socks, actually. They're, they're wetsuit socks, I think. And it makes it so much easier in the ice bath, which I'm gonna do now. It's actually, it's half one. Ideally, I'd do it in the morning, but we don't live in an ideal world. It's been really busy uh, getting back to, to things decorating, I started decorating, so I'm gonna jump in here now. Um, it's 12, I'm actually gonna put a, a bag of ice in, cool it down a bit, I mean it's 12 degrees, so it's not like it's warm. So I'm gonna do that now, jump in, and then we're gonna to go to the gym. One bag of ice. It's 
grim that when you see all the ice floating on the, on the top. Cold. Maybe I could have the water a bit colder tomorrow, but I think once you control your breathing and you're not panicking, slow your breathing down, breathe through the nose. That's two minutes done there. Let me tell you, day four, did not want to do this today. Did not sleep well last night. Stomach, tummy's been feeling awful since landing back um, from Florida. It's not regular going to the loo, too much info maybe. Sore from three days solid back at the gym. So today, just feeling a bit, it's like quarter to eight in the morning, like I said, I've not slept well at all, I did not want to do this, but I'm not doing this for the physical benefit, I'm doing it for the mental benefit, because every day I do this, I'm doing something that I don't want to do, and showing myself that I'm not controlled by my brain, in the sense of, you know, that subconscious, thing that self-sabotages, the thing that makes us not want to do things or to do things that we know that we sh shouldn't do or that are not in line with where we want to go. So this is me taming that voice, this is me mentally challenging myself to do something uncomfortable, something I don't want to do. I put fresh water in today and I'm not putting enough water in. But it'll have to do. Um, you'll see that yesterday the camera, the battery went off, and I was talking to to you for ages. So um, this is day five. As it, it was a bit overcast yesterday, it's very sunny today. And I'm doing it a bit later on. It's easy. Um, I actually put two bags of ice in with this. It doesn't feel. Doesn't feel as bad, but maybe that's because the sun's out. It's going to be different when it's raining, isn't it? Um, but I did five and a half minutes yesterday, so we'll go for six today. The ice baths. I don't think it's about the. It's not about the physical. Yes, there's physical benefits that it promotes brown fat, which is probably a good kind of fat. It help, apparently it helps fat loss because it, it helps improve your metabolism, it helps recoverability, it helps with capillaries and like oxy, blood and oxygen, and all these things, but it's much more the thing that you're doing something that's uncomfortable, and the fear of doing the thing is always worse than doing the thing. You know, before I get in, I'm always like, it's gonna be really cold, it's gonna be really horrible, but as soon as I'm in, and there's that initial, Ugh, like you're over it and you're in especially because i've got these socks on with my feet because that when my hands and my feet are cold it's really painful i don't know if i've got bad circulation or i was actually talking with someone yesterday who was in the army and said a lot of the lads in the army suffer it so i don't know if it's to do with being outside a lot with playing rugby that's three minutes in um and yeah it's it's going, it's going, the voice that says you, you don't want to do that, you don't want to do that, you can't do that, you shouldn't do that. And then realising that that voice is not actually in charge. And I know it sounds a bit wicked because you're talking about yourself, but you know, we have this, the, there's the conscious version of ourselves that knows we should, we should, could do things, could eat well, could look after ourselves, could challenge ourselves, could get out of our comfort zone. And there's our subconscious that is very much happy with where it is. Um, and uh, there's a book called The Happiness Hypothesis where they talk about uh, your subconscious being like an elephant and your conscious being like an, a rider. And when your subconscious is calm and you're in control, uh, you know, an elephant's quite 
placid and but if an elephant decides it doesn't want to do something there ain't no way you can control it and you're subconscious like that and so this is a way of taming the beast um, when I'm down, do you know what, I've put this off for a long time, I hate cold showers, people said they found cold showers easier, I find them hard. Because uh, you're not like just covered in water, there's bits of you that's in and bits of you that's out. So for me this is just easier, just commit 100% and do something. And this is the fifth day, so we're on Friday, this is the fifth day. And yeah, just mentally I feel good, I feel like I can do, I, you know, whenever there's that, that doubt. And that's all that confidence is, it's building up this proof of evidence that you can do things that you don't think you can or that even if there's something that you've not done before that generally you come out on top and you're willing to give it a go and that's what a lot of confidence is a lot of things people start and they don't know what they're doing and they figure it out along the way pretty much everybody does that um, and this is just proof that helps you do it so yeah I'm, I'm a fan I'm gonna keep doing it and we'll see how it is when it starts raining we'll see how it is when it starts getting, when it's really dark on the morning, I'm coming out here in the dark, um, or I'm having to smash through ice to get into it, I'm sure that'll be a challenge. You know, at the minute, we've got 10 degrees Celsius water, which is I think less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's, it's cold, but I feel quite comfortable. Happy. Benefits of ice baths, decrease inflammation, so you're not going to feel as sore. Uh, that helps with uh, tissue, connective tissue, everything that's going on. Massive rushing endorphins. So what we've seen is like cocaine, uh, stimulants will spike and then come back down. Cold water endorphins keep going up and up and up exponentially over nine hours or so. So that's the same with your endorphins, big spike in your dopamine that's going to keep going up. Helps with those aches and pains. I have really bad ankles uh, after having surgeries on them, reconstructive surgeries, and it's really, really helped with those. Accelerates metabolism because you're going into that cold water environment. Your body has to upregulate the processes to, which is going to raise your core body temperature, which is going to then lead to everything functioning a little bit better. It improves your circulation because it, your, your body's got to be more efficient at getting blood around the body. It'll naturally um, shut down your extremities, your fingers and toes and things but it will oh it'll what we call vasodilate all your capillaries will open they'll transfer blood around your body a hell of a lot better because you've had that big spike in endorphins you're going to get an improved mood you're going to be able to cope with stress better also the big and this has been the biggest thing for me the fact that you are your body will tell you i can't do this and you will realize that that little voice that tells you that you can't isn't in charge and it's going to have a massive positive impact on making your mindset better, your self-belief better. That's going to build up evidence over time that you can do things that you didn't think you can do and you're going to absolutely love it. And research also shows that if you don't have an ice bath and you submerge, submerge your face in cold water, it can have the same impact. So doing it for like up to 10 seconds at a time, um, you, you can get some of the, well, maybe not all, but some of the same benefits that you can get from full body submersion. So you don't even have to buy one of these, you can just stick it in a bowl of cold water. But yeah, I think it's been great. Let me know if you do them, let me know if you would do them. Lots of people say that they couldn't do them, but you could, you just gotta challenge yourself. So if you like this, subscribe, like, do the YouTube things. Thank you.